across the night sky, lighting up the skies over the spaceport, over the Amazon rainforest. Our passengers have started their journey. Pleiad Neo, Bro4, Sunstorm, Leadsat and Radcube are on their way. It's a huge moment for everybody. We tucked in behind the clouds for a bit, but we came out again, so we got a great view. This is what it looks like up there in space. With our CGI images giving us a great view, we have confirmation there, a separation of the P-80 and the Z-23 has switched its engine on. We are hurtling through space. On the right hand side of your screen, at the bottom, Vitesse is speed. We're traveling at the moment at 2.35, kil 6, 7, 8 kilometers and we're getting faster and faster. And climbing. And we have separation there of the Z. Switch to the engine on of the Z Nerf, the Z9 engine, and we have separated the fairing. Did you see how it, it came away? All perfectly planned. We don't need the fairing anymore because we're out of the friction of the atmosphere, so we're effectively in space. We are 149 kilometers high, that means we crossed the threshold into space about 50 kilometers ago. That's very useful for Earth observation. Oh wow, look at that. It's really, really interesting watching how these maneuvers happen in space. And these images are the CGI images which have been very carefully planned and all the information has been put into the computer and we produce these really sensational graphics. So the sun synchronous orbit is very The launch is operating remotely. And there we go, separation of the final stage there, which means we're now really entering the next phase of our flight. The Z9, the third stage, has been jettisoned. And this means that the propulsion phase of the launch is now over.